Good evening, residents of the town of Sunderland. It is uh, June 27, 2012. Boy, good thing I didn't read the date on the agenda. Yeah, about a year ago. <laughs> That's an old one. <laughs> February, May. Um, okay. I'd like to uh, call this meeting to order at uh, 6 45. I just like to, the first thing I would like to announce is that. Um, we now have a high school graduate with diploma sitting behind the control board. So we're awful proud of uh, Marina and we wished her, we were just talking before the meeting, offering our congratulations to her and excited for her on her next step in her life. So Marina, congratulations. Um, but she is a high school graduate now, so we did recommend to her boss that she see an increase in her wages because so we'll see how far that goes. Uh, the second item is we had voted as a board to um, offer the position contingent upon uh, successful completion of negotiations with uh, Mr. Thomas or Chief Thomas Harding. Um, I'd like to turn the meeting over to Scott. Scott was uh, the board's um, lead uh, negotiator with Chief Harding and Scott, where do we stand? Sure, Mr. Chair, thank you. So, uh, since the uh, board's directive to begin negotiating with uh, Chief Harding from Shutesbury about the position here in the town of Sunderland, uh, he and I had three and a half meetings. I always consider the last meeting a half meeting. They were constructive, they were quite respectful, and they were broad ranging. We talked about the position here in the town, we talked about shared chiefs, we talked about uh, the regional approaches that the town has taken with uh, South County Emergency Services, and the need to be creative as uh, these resources move forward. That being the town's resources and the collective resources of our area. What's the best ways to use them? So those creative discussions uh, invariably uh, were educational. The uh, negotiations broke down uh, when we came to a discussion around um, total compensation package. Anybody who's negotiated a con contract understands, and I'll, I'll, I'll throw my left hand toward Sherry <coughs> right now, we, we, we negotiate total compensation packages. There's the W-2 package, there's the vacations, there's the all of that. They're associated with the total compensation. And we simply couldn't come to an agreement. As you know, the, the town appropriated a uh, salary of $72,000, and we have some latitude inside of contract negotiations to work on uh, some of the holiday schedule and intangibles around education and education incentive. And we frankly weren't, we weren't that far apart, but we were far enough apart that there was no way I could come back with a straight face to the board and recommend uh, extending the negotiations any farther. And Tom, to his credit, ever a gentleman, understood as well that this is just business. It's quite all right. It's, it's just the way it is. So uh, we agreed uh, that I would come back to the board with a report uh, and that his, um, his uh, decision was not to accept our offer. And our offer was uh, inside of the appropriation and with the latitude that the board has uh, to negotiate inside of the bylaws. So at this point, Mr. Chair, uh, Tom Harding is not gonna be part of our discussion with respect to the position of chief here in the town and uh, we had asked Sherry, talked to Sherry earlier in the week, uh, late last week, to see if the two remaining candidates uh, still had interest in the position. And uh, she said that uh, having reached out to both uh, Jane and Eric, that both were still interested in the position. And it's important to bear in mind, interest in the position only opens the door to negotiating again. Right. It just, it's, again, as I said the first time, this isn't the appointment process. That mm -hmm. comes after the negotiations. Uh, so at this point, Mr. Chair, we, have an, we still have an opening here for the Chief of Police in the town of Sunderland. Well, if I could, Mr. Bergeron, thank you. Uh, the first, um, we have Officer in Charge uh, Brendan Lyons um, here tonight. And Brendan and I were talking before the meeting, and I was, I was, um, thanking him for 
his leadership since the retirement of Jeff, in particular, the officers um, are out. They're very visible. Um, at the meeting. We, as members of the board, have received many positive comments um, about the department while Brendan, and I, I just think, and again, I just wanted to publicly recognize Brendan for his work. Um, it's not easy holding a seat warm. Um, there are a lot of, there's a lot of challenges to, to that. Um, Brendan has more than stepped up to the plate and, and the men and women in our department have responded very well to his leadership. So Brendan, again, thank you very much. Um, just knowing, just seeing, just um, listening to people um, and the notice, the notice, them noticing the ch changes um, has been um, welcome because our residents are watching, I guess. You know, sometimes you wonder if they care. You know, sometimes you think they go to, <laughs> they go to work, they come home, uh, they mow the lawn, they go inside and turn the TV on and you don't, um, it's been, it's been kind of nice knowing that we, ha the residents do see what's going on and Brendan, you're doing a good job and people recognize that. So thank you. And, and, and if you could thank, thank our men and women also for the, the job they're doing. It, it's very much appreciated. It's not just me, it's every officer in the department. Um, they're all coming together as a team and, and being very proactive and like you say, they're being visible out in the community. That's very mm -hmm. important. You know, I see them, they're sitting, the windows are open, they're, they're I, th I think they're doing it the right way. You know, there's, a lot that, there's a lot that can be taught through education and I think you guys are, are educating and that's, that's a good thing, a good thing. <clears throat> All right, Mr. Pierce and Mr. Bergeron, where where do you want to go? We still have two potential candidates in uh, Eric <clears throat> Dimitro, <clears throat> the Metropolis, <laughs> and uh, Jane Dalbert. Uh, what's your pleasure? I know um, this is kind of an interesting thing sometimes because it says, "Oh, they didn't get the first choice." Um, I I don't I I sometimes I think. Um, that that's hard. Um, we I know over at the South County Senior Center, someone um, one time went to a director and says, "You weren't their first choice." And 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 she says, "Well, I wasn't your first choice." I says, "Well, I wasn't my I wasn't the first choice of the job I hold right now either." So it, it's not an unusual thing. And and sometimes I think, um, as as she has proven right now, sometimes. Not being the first choice is not necessarily because then that would kind of indicate that we never are always right, and heaven forbid, I'm told all the time that we're not right. So no, definitely not. we have a pretty good <laughs> we have a pretty good track record of being wrong, doing extra work. Let's just doing extra work. Way. Very good point, Scott. Very good. So I, I don't look at, I don't look at it as um, we lost our first choice. We lost a choice. Um, I can I can comment that both. I will comment that both. Um, both remaining that were presented to us come highly recommended mm -hmm. um, by all members of the search committee. So it's not like one, uh, there was just one out of the three, mm -hmm. but all three were, were rated equally, that they, they're very good. Right. And, and I think for us, when we had our discussion, it was just a fit that we thought was right at that particular time. Time has passed. Right. Um, we know uh, Chief Harding is no longer in the mix, so that we will, we will go and if it's okay with you, we'll discuss both both members and see see where we want to go and see see what we want to do. So, David, thoughts or Scott? David, want to go ahead, sir? Uh, I think it's a good idea. I mean, I'm I'm pretty comfortable with you know with where where I stand on it. So, yeah. But yeah. What do you think, Scotty? So, if I could, Mr. Chair, the, the, you, anybody who watched the, the first round of uh, the first round of our, our deliberations, you know, know, knew that I took pause and you know changed my gears and spent a fair amount of time looking at these same sheets. I've taken one set of sheets away because it, that's not part of the equation anymore. And I have to say that it's still uh, a measure of experience rising to the top, 
a measure of experience in the position rises to the top to me as a uh, key component in the decision making. That's not to say that someone who hasn't managed an organization or hasn't run shifts or hasn't run some of the administrative components uh, isn't necessarily uh, qualified. Again, we have recommendations here in front of us, but I would I would uh, put forward the name of uh, Eric Demetropoulos as our as our my consideration for the position. Okay, is that is there a second? Yeah, I'll second that. Discussion, David. Thoughts? Um, yeah, I think um, I think I, some of the some of the things that I thought before I had you know a little time to reflect on it too afterwards. Yeah. So, which was nice. And um, I think one of the things too, you know, you were talking about going, you know, changing your mind and things like that. But it also, I think that shows a lot of effort put into the thought and how you know. I, I, People probably don't realize how much thought we probably, we had a lot of time driving and Gym thinking, time. yes, yep. you know what I mean, to, to go back and forth. So it, it's not something that we arrive at um, easily and quickly, too. So, um, but uh, I, I'm still comfortable with my original thought. I think just for the fit for the town and where we want to go and everything, I think, um, I think I'm comfortable with that choice. But either way, you know, they're both good candidates. So I think we were lucky enough to get um, Good uh, recommendations from the committee. So, um, Mr. Chair, what do you think? What's that, Mr. Chair? What do you think? Oh, uh, I, you know, what, one of the things I, I, I thought, um, I've. It's funny. Sometimes I think it's important. You know, we keep we keep notes and we go over notes and and we look at and and you know look at different things and I kind of reread resumes and. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I think um, I get torn sometimes um, and we, we put we put that and we all put value in somebody that has done the job before mm -hmm. um, I have uh, I have confidence that uh, Sergeant Galbert could do the job as well. Yep. I'm not a, I would not be afraid at all of of making that appointment. Um, I actually I actually think her style would work well with our our department. I think I uh, and actually it's because of uh, stuff that Brennan's been doing um, and 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 the officers and, and seeing it that I I think that but. I do think about the, um, I do think about the first budgets. I do think about the first uh, sh shift schedule, which I don't think is too, is, I mean, you bid on your, sh in May, right? Or your union, when, when do they do shifts? The shifts are posted May 1st. Uh, the bids start on June 1st. Yeah. They have to be submitted by June 30th. <clears throat> Excuse me, and then July 1st they take effect. And it's an annual shift. Yeah. Effectively. Don't get me wrong. There's there's some Ouija board with respect to part time and ships and vacancies, but that's that's the that's the weekly monthly arrangement. Yes. Yeah. And, and I, I so I, I do think I do think um, I do think one of the things that we learn is that in, in not hiring full time officers exclusively is not necessarily the answer. Mm -hmm. um, just just because um, you, you need a core of officers, but you also need, I think, you need part-time officers. And I think, what Brendan, you've been, and I think that's one of the things Brendan's been doing very well in the department has been utilizing the, uh, the part-timers to, to and, and we've been looking at some of the schedules and, and I think it, that's, that's kind of a, I think scheduling part-timers with the full-timers mm -hmm. is an art. Agreed. I, 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 I think it's um, knowing busy times, slow times. I know, and, and I'm not picking on the moderator, but the moderator has asked in the past, why do we, why do we need a, a police shift? And I'm sure, and, and, and if the moderator's saying it, right. you know, somebody people else, in town are saying yeah, on it. Right. But, but why do we, why do we need police coverage on Sunday morning at eight o'clock? 
And I, I would hate to tell people, but we actually have car accidents. We actually have domestics. Believe it or not, Sunday morning after a Saturday night having domestics. Who would have thought? Um, they don't schedule those usually. <laughs> but things happen, and 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 and, and, it, and it's and and. And, and, and someone has to know how to schedule for those. You know, it's just not enough to say it, it won't happen here um, or it doesn't happen here. And, and I think um, one of the things we learned with South County EMS is that a huge portion of our calls are between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. And, and a lot of people, including myself at first, until you look at the numbers, don't comprehend that. But the numbers, if, you, if you're astute at putting numbers together, shows that 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., there's a, a big number of our calls are between those. Those are our South County EMS. That's where their calls are. But the South County EMS director knew that, and he saw that, and he made changes to the schedule to do that. That's what I hope our next chief will do. So... I, I think Jane could do that. I, 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 she hasn't been given a chance to do that yet. Um, Eric has been doing it now. I, I'm just so everybody knows, Eric is a chief in another town, so he may or may not be available. Um, and that's that's not take right. That's yeah. <laughs> that's not taking him out of consideration. So, um, but Sherry contacted him and. Last word was he's so okay. All right, I'm all I'm all done. I think if I could, Mr. Chair, it's Shoot. awfully important to say to reiterate the point that this is only uh, if if whatever vote the board takes tonight, regardless, only allows the beginning of negotiations. Again. Yeah, that's absolutely. a really important part. You know, people think th there may be a perception that. You know, this is this is the appointment process, or this is the choice of choices. You said earlier, to uh, having heard from the South County Senior Center, you know, you you weren't my first choice. Well, I think many of us have been in those positions, but choice doesn't necessarily mean uh, that it's a it's a review of uh, cultural fit, skill set, how you fit in with the community in a grander scale, what you bring for advancing both the department and the perspectives or the community in and of itself. The vantage point of one's life experience is what you're bringing forward. That's what you're bringing forward. That doesn't mean you can't, you can't always hire them. Look, I, I think the, the most difficult position, the most difficult thing that we have to do um, as a board of selectmen is hire people. Right. We at times have people like Sherry that that come in and, and beat us on the head and say, why haven't you hired me already? <laughs> um, but but that's not that's not the usual. Um, and, and, and not taking about any of our finals for a town administrator, Sherry was a tough one to pass over with 20 plus years experience and, and her track record with grants and a lot of other things. And, and she, had, she has not, and, and it may sound like a um, employee love fest tonight, but um, Sherry, in the job that she does, she hasn't missed a beat she, since she's, she, you know, she did the first year, kind of got got acquainted with the town, um, and she's making some changes in the office right now. You know, she, I, I like how she's doing things. She, she actually came in, um, saw how things worked for the year or so. And now she's making some change to make it changes that she needs, to, to what she believes need to do her job well, and the staff well also. And I think that's a kind of a, that's a, a maturity that sometimes, sometimes people think they have to make a lot of changes right away. And, 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 and being able to sit back and see how things work, um, that's a that's a that's a talent. That's a gift that a lot of people don't have. So that's something that I would expect, no matter who we end up with, to do in the role. You know, 
Because I think you're right, and you especially see that in uh, oftentimes in the corporate world where somebody will get hired as a new CEO and the first thing they want to do is come in and make their stamp on things rather than sitting back, assessing things, seeing what works and what doesn't work and making the appropriate changes. Yeah, you're People feel right. like if they don't make a change, they're not seen as valuable, so they, they right. force a change just for the sake of it. Right. And, you know. You've probably all seen that too. Yep. A few times, I'd say. Yeah, a few times. <laughs> but I mean, the very fact that we're here again speaks to what you were saying, Scott. Yeah. You know, so. I, so, I, and again, I, I, I think Scott's points are well taken. Um, this is the beginning. This is the beginning of the process. Um, there's still background checks that have to be done. There's still, and, and background checks are, are. It, it's. You have to do the quarry checks. You do financials. Um, it, it's there's there's stuff involved. It's just you know we have to make sure that all the you know, make sure that he has a license to operate, has a license to carry. We have yeah. all those things are part of the process that that just starts now. So um, anything else, That's awesome. David? No, I, I'm all set. All right, we have a motion made and seconded to offer the position or enter into the negotiation process with Eric Dimitropoulos. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Sherry three zero. Um, could you uh, notify Eric? Scott, you are you up to it again, or? I didn't do such a good job the first time, Mr. Chair. <laughs> oh, we got you got three Scott to go through, so. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, that that's fine. I will not be available until next Wednesday to start that. If that's if that's an impediment, then it's okay with the board. No, I think we're all set. Yeah, fine. It's a holiday weekend and everything coming up, so I think a lot of people are going to have time off. Okay. So. so again, I I'd like to thank um, David and Scott for making themselves available. It was. It was a short notice. Sherry was able to pull the meeting together. She made a lot of telephone calls to get things organized. So um, that's good. Um, we can let the, the members, the community, our community members, understand. I think they, they need to know what happened with uh, with Chief Harding, and, and that's unfortunate. I think Chief Harding would have been been fine. But you know, if you can't, you can, and, and but there's no. I hope everyone understands. There's no hard feelings. I mean, it was that was right for him. You know, right. and if anybody's been in a position to leave one job to go to another, mm -hmm. um, they know what it's all about. So, fascinating discussions. It was very, very topical. It was very, very detailed when it needed to be, and it was very, very professional. Yeah. All right. Anything else? You have anything else to do? Oh, that's it. I think so. Really? We have one thing tonight. Motion to adjourn. Sherry, Sherry, <laughs> Sherry, 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 Sherry said there'd be one thing there'd tonight. One, one thing, thing tonight. only. Oh, I thought you just had one more thing. I was going to say, oh, wait, there's one more there's thing. There's one just more thing. More. No, that's it. One All right. Uh, second. A motion made and seconded to adjourn this uh, regularly unscheduled meeting. All those in favor signify by say saying aye. Well, actually, how about the new high school graduate? Yeah. There you go. 3.75. 3.75. We will be out. 7.05. Thank you.